up YouTube? Leo Shane here, host of the Extreme Full Efficient channel. Today is October 5th, 2018. It is going to be my outing number 139 of this year. And as you guys can see, fall is finally here. Huh? Temperatures have dropped this week in Pennsylvania, at least around the Philadelphia and surrounding areas. It is a little bit chilly, my friends. But anyways, today I'm here in the middle of nowhere, okay, in Delaware County, Pennsylvania. And yesterday on my Instagram story, I actually posted a poll on trout, since the fall trout season is coming up, right? As a matter of fact, a few places around my area have already been stocked with rainbow trout, the Oncorincus micis, and a few other places are going to be stocked on the 9th, I believe. I posted a poll there and I pretty much just, just asked people, right, what should I go for? Should I go for stock trout or wild trout? And for my surprise, a lot of people, more than 80% of you, actually voted wild trout. So for those who don't know the difference between a stocked, a wild, or a native trout, I'm linking a video above, go check it out, the knowledge is all there, okay? It is really all nature versus nurture, if you think about it, and in this case, nurture kind of wins, right? Uh, nature says that our genetics dictate our behavior, and nurture pretty much says that uh, our environment and our upbringing dictates our behavior. Summarizing, okay, for those who don't know about this topic, right? Wild trout behave very differently than stocked trout, right? The stocked trout were raised, born and raised in the hatcheries. They were fed food from the hatcheries, right? And they have seen humans. Wild trout were born in the wild. Since they were born, they have been feeding on natural food from the creek and etc. So hunting for one or another can be very, very different all right this creek that i'm exploring today in delaware county i have never fished this portion of the creek i have fished this creek more upstream i believe and the pennsylvania fish and boat commission came here a few years ago and according to what they said they found some wild brown trout the salmo truta over here since i started fishing here in the philadelphia area i have caught only a few wild brown trout and after i caught them i never really hunted for them again so today is a good opportunity to go hunt for some wild trout and see if we can actually find them and catch them okay so let me get my ultralight set up set up here stay tuned first and foremost let's check the condition of the creek ah it's all wet around here gotta be careful when walking on wet places let's see how is this creek is it really, really weightable if it is next time i'll bring my waders e man i mean i can see the bottom i can see the bottom of the creek without my polarized lenses so it is definitely weightable but the water is not as clear as i thought it was going to be but it does look good it looks real juicy folks so let's get started Oh man. Oh dude, what is it? First fish of the day. What is it? Oh man, it's a uh, it's a red breast sunfish. Well not too unexpectedly, right? There are red breast sunfish in this little creek. <laughs> okay. Well can't really say that I am surprised. Every creek around my area really has the red breast sunfish. It's a beautiful native, you know, sunfish around. Oh, that was an interesting release. You got it, fish? Oh, 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 okay, okay, the fish got it. Interesting release. Every creek around my area has the sunfish, you know, or most of them. There's one. What is it? Hey man, it's a red breast. Folks, folks, I have been walking down, up and down the creek. Kind of chose this spot right here, right? Because this is a spot I can actually release the fish 
in the water in case I catch any wild trout. But so far, no, no wild trout. Only, only red breast sunfish. You know, I mean, these fish are beautiful. Don't take me wrong. But whatever, <laughs> whatever happened to the wild browns that are supposed to be around this area? Nice cast. If there's a little wild trout, it should hit that without a problem. Ay, ay, ay. This thing's gonna be the end of me. No, even the Johnson. Even the Johnson did not escape the wrath of the red breast sunfish. I'm throwing my pink Johnson. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been red breast after red breast after red breast. And monotony is a curse for any multi-species angler. Have to be careful with getting snagged here. This little current break. Oh, what is this? What is that? Whoa, what was that? That was not a red breast sunfish. Was that a wild trout? If it was, it was a very small one. I'll tell that much. What was that? Man, that could be the first sign of life over here for wild trout. Gotta keep casting a few more times over here. Who knows, right? Maybe there's like a small baby one. There's gotta be like a, a big mama or something like that. Come on, it can't be that this place only has red breast sunfish, right? Yeah, I got something. What is this? My goodness gracious. Don't even talk about wild trout, son. We just got a little creek largemouth bass, man. The Micropterus salmoides. If these guys are around, I'm not so sure there's wild brown trout over here. As you guys know, largemouth bass are voracious eaters. So our chances of finding wild brown trout here have just gone down a little bit. On the other hand, our chances of catching a nice bass from this creek, you know, have just gone up. So I can't complain about that either. Yeah, I feel some fish so far. Oh, yeah. yeah. Any trout ever? No, that's oh. what actually what I'm looking for, but I've never been here before. Uh, you ever see people catch anything uh, here? I'm new to here. I Not see. Not too far away. The closest place I might know would be uh, Crumb Creek. Right, which is my more that way, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that okay. That one I know they've got, they don't stock it, but there's a lot of wild brown trout. Okay. So, and you'll catch, you know, up, maybe up to like 10, 12 inches. Oh, all right. Is yeah. it really far from here? No, Crumb Creek. Okay. So I'll look you, it up. Yeah, I'll look. too far. It might be like 10 minutes from here. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have a nice day. You guys saw the conversation that I just had with one of the locals uh, over here, right? I didn't really want to review the name of the place at the beginning, right? Because I don't put spots on my videos anymore. But to make things less confusing in this video, I am fishing Crumb Creek today. I mean, you guys skipped through the videos anyways, right? So only half of you know now that I am here. So he was telling me that 10 minutes from here, upstream, people do catch wild brown trout, okay? Just about this big, right? And that is what I am looking for. This portion of the Crumb Creek today, I have never explored before. It is my first time here. And let me tell you, I've caught a lot of red breast sunfish today. like. You guys don't get to see in the videos because it's only a few minutes, but I have been working my lure up and down and no sign of trout. But you know what? I got to this place right here and I kind of hear that there's a waterfall or something around there, maybe a dam. I'm gonna go check it out. Who knows? Maybe if the current gets a little bit faster and we find some holes, right? We may indeed be successful in our search for the wild trout today. Stay tuned. Wow. 
Now we are talking. This is the hidden gem right here, my friends. Look at this. Now we are talking more like a trout spot, yeah? Man, this is, this is beautiful right here. Now, finally, we are talking trout. Good stuff. Ah, oh, the things that we do to get to the juicy spots. Now, this spot right here is juicy. Come on, man. There should be some trout over here. There's one, there's one, there's one. What is this? What is this? No, what? Wait, what is this? Wait a moment, this is just a red breast? This looks like a real odd red breast sunfish. It looks like a hybrid red breast sunfish. Man, I thought it was going to be a trout. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a hybrid red breast green sunfish, I think. Wow, now that is weird. I don't know what this is. Okay, I thought maybe finally we got to the juicy spot. You know, we're gonna catch some wild browns and then a weird hybrid sunfish comes up. Now, this is just fascinating. When is my... Where's my trout coming up, huh? Oh man, that wall there looks so juicy. Oh, there's one. There's one. What is this? Oh, you've got to be kidding me, man. Today is not my day. I'm telling you, today is not is not my day. Not my day. Even the cast master whew, not providing the trout instead is providing the flat. I mean the, the the little the little bass. The little bass. Alright, yeah, there go. Go, go, go back. Oh man. Bring the trout, please. Oh, I am in a dilemma now. You guys see that run right over here against the wall? That looks like a real nice run. But the problem is, of course, you can't get over there unless you wet your feet. And I didn't bring my waders today. Now the main question is, should I wet my feet? It is like 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh boy. Oh well, it is, it is do or die, do or die. Let's, let's do it. Whoa, bro! Ooh, this water's cold. Oh shoot! Takes a little while to get used to it, you know. Whew. Man, today I brought my ultra light with me down to the creek, you know. Got the Cast King Centron 500, the Calamus. Equipment-wise, all good. The only thing that I forgot, my pair of waders, man. Oh man, better be a trout over here, man. Better be a trout over here. The things that we do to catch fish. Excuse me. Oh, there's one. Oh, it's not a trout, though. It looks like a sunfish. It's a red breast sunfish. I, 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 I lost count. I can wet my hands now. I lost my count of how many of these we, we landed today already, you know? But uh, yeah, better be some trout around here, man. Oh, that was a hit. There's one. What is this? It's a little bass. Combination of little bass, and, and mind you, no big bass either. Just a combination of a small bass and red breast today. Oh, there's one. Is that a trout? Uh, it's, a, it's another sunfish. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know about trout. I may be really at the wrong 
portion of the creek for wild trout because since I've stepped on this creek today, I haven't seen a single, a single trout. Ah, uh, well, what can I say, you know? Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose, right? Not every day can be, ooh, exciting fishing session, right? And not every day can be the unexpected happened, especially when you go out and you are pretty much exploring new bodies of water around the area, right? Like I did today. I mean, don't take me wrong. My setup here did a wonderful job at this creek today, okay? I got my trusted ultralight setup for creek fishing, right? Cast King Calamus, Centron 500, four pounds, Fluorocoat, test line. We landed a lot, a lot of red breast sunfish on inline spinners, cast master spoons, and the 164 ounce jig with the Aero Tackle, Anisoptera, but that was pretty much it. I fished two stretches of this creek up and down the dam, right? Walked all around for four hours and there was just no wild trout to be found, at least not over here. The local did tell us that they do catch them around here, not big. Maybe I am just in the wrong stretch of the creek. I I'm not so sure, you know? I will have to explore a little bit more and see what happens. Fear not, my friends, for extreme fillet fishing is not going to give up. This is only episode one of my wild trout series on the channel. And before the end of fall, hopefully I will have brought you guys some beautiful wild trout from around my area, okay? Now, overall about this creek, Crumb Creek, I would like to emphasize it is a very healthy ecosystem. There's plenty of sunfish around here. So many sunfish, as a matter of fact, that some of them are stunted because they don't have food. Not enough food in the creek for all of them to eat. For you guys to have an idea, I walked up and down today and I only saw one pod of mummy chods, the Fundulus heteroclitus. Nothing else in terms of microfishing. Nothing else. So, I mean, can you imagine what exactly are the fish in this creek eating, right? Little worms here and there, things that fall from the trees. But in terms of fish, in this section of the creek, at least, it is empty. Nothing. You know, no, no bait, no food. But anyways, this is it for this video. Next time, next episode, not next video, okay? I don't know when it's coming. I am going to be exploring another stretch of this creek right here. And hopefully, we're going to land some wild brownies, uh, brown trout. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Tie lines, take it easy. And hopefully I didn't get my ass wet from the water.